Hello guys, I hope this video finds you well. If you are watching this, then for sure sooner or later you will be taking the board exam and you're trying to learn paano ba sumagot ng tama. By the way, if you don't know me, I am Mom Jenny. I have a Facebook page. It's called Exams Jenny, same with the one in my YouTube. So I am doing this channel. It's because when I was still reviewing for the licensure examinations for licensure examination for teachers, I actually promised God na kapag bumasa ako, I will give back. And here we are. So board exam answering techniques i am sure you are or i mean you've reviewed enough diba right? like you've attended lectures and review centers and online sessions i'm sure you did all of that already but let me give you this reality pagdating mo doon actually yung mga inaral mo not 100% of them lalabas okay not 100% of the questions there, alam mo. There will be questions that you don't know, you've never met before. And there will be questions that will be difficult. So this series of techniques will actually help you how to find the correct answer. If you follow them well, if you apply them in every item, then you have higher chances of making it through or seeing your name in the list of passers wow that's the dream diba right? so anyway let us start right away uh okay the first technique is of course to practice shading practice shading some people they fail hindi because not because bobo sila they failed it's because tanga sila Okay, so of course, if your shading is hindi maganda pa shade or hindi tama, baka mag jump yan sa machine. Hindi tao yung mag check yan, machine. So we cannot control what it will do. And the best na magagawa natin on our end is to do it correctly. Yung technique ko is to use the pencil that you are comfortable with. It is important na in the actual day, hindi ka na mag-a-adjust sa lapis na ginagamit mo. Alam mo na kung paano siya navigate how light, how dark. So, unahin mo yung pag-shade nung, kasi ano yan eh, rectangle. Unahin mong pag-shade yung sa labas and then sa loob. Okay, that's how you shade it. So, practice shading. Now, I've known people na some of them failed kahit na some exams is malalaki naman yung um, average nila but still they failed so could be a factor yung shading so practice shading in my time i practiced shading almost every day so marami namang scantron papers online so you print them and then mag practice ka doon that's yeah that's the first one Next, um, of course, this one too. I've heard it somewhere and, well, it makes sense to me, is that do not choose letter E. Yung letter E kasi na option, it's none of the above. None of the above. Now, it is believed and I also believe na tinano yang tanong dyan, it's because it has an answer. Every question given Merong sagot, okay? Impossible na it's none of the above. So as much as possible, do not choose letter E, okay? Stick ka doon sa A, B, C, D. As for me, I've never did. Kahit isang letter E, wala ako doon. Null, nada, nothing. <laughs> so don't choose letter E. Next. Okay, answer the easy ones first. Bucket. It will help you save time, okay? Tendency kasi is, kapag nasagutan mo yung number one, tapos mahirap yung number two, eh matatagalan ka dun sa number two, di ba? And that will take so much of your time. Compared sa, unahin mo yung mga madadali, and then you just mark it on your questionnaire, and then bumalik ka naman sa moderate level, 
sagot-sagot-sagot, and then balikan mo na naman para sa mga difficult level. So at least in the last part mo na sasagutan yung mga mahihirap, may enough time ka pang ibibigay at hindi yung like marami pang nakasunod, right? You just have the difficult ones left. At at least if you run out of time, you can pick any answer kasi what can you lose? Hindi mo naman talaga alam, right? So to save time, answer the easy ones first. Yung roommate ko when I was rev- when I was at- when I was taking the board exam, pinashadean sa kanya yung last 50 items. Kasi naubusan na siya ng oras. And so the, the proctor and people from the PRC told her na, I- shade mo na lang kasi baka mag-jump sa machine. Sayang naman. And without reading, without nothing, nag-shade siya ng 50 items. And 50 items, it's, it's a lot. If that were me, I, I would cry. Talagang magiging hopeless ako right there and then. So I don't want that to happen to you. Okay? Time is very important. So nahin mo yung madadali, yung moderate, and then come back again for the difficult, okay? To save time, answer the easy ones first. Next, anything vague or confusing is not the correct answer, okay? And there are just options kasi na they don't make sense at all. Kahit na basahin mo, it's just malayo sa tanong, okay? So kapag nakakalito siya, it's not the correct answer. Depende lang sa'yo kung... Nalito ka lang on your own. But if it's not clear, you know, walang sense, it's not the correct answer. Eliminate that one right away, okay? Make sure that you choose the most rational, the most logical, yung talagang sumasagot sa tanong, okay? So anything vague or confusing, it's not the correct answer. Next, question of the options. Now, I'm really proud of this technique because this one, I've never heard it from anyone. I only did this when I was reviewing and it was really helpful. It was really helpful. So, meantime, when we read the question, it's just a bit difficult to understand, right? I mean, it's difficult to dive deep kung ano ba talaga siya all about. So, babalik tarin natin. We will go to the options. So, you question, is it option A, does it make sense? Do you think it answers to the question? In what percentage? Maybe 50, 60%? Okay. What about question B? Does it answer to the question? In what percentage? Maybe 70, 80%? And then yung pinaka, talagang malapit sa yung puso, yung one that has the highest percentage, that could be the correct answer. So if you really don't know anymore, you question all the options, okay? Next one, um, ano pa ba? Okay. Um, this is, I, I've learned this from Dr. Carl E. Balita. Do not answer unless you have last two options remaining. So, yung first one, yung question all the options, and then this, they're kind of related, okay? It's all about elimination, elimination. So, through that kasi, you will have a 50% chance of getting to the correct answer. But hindi lang yan. It means if you're able to remove the other two distractors, ibig sabihin nun, talagang na-analyze mo siya ng maigi, okay? It will help you analyze the options well, okay? So, question all the options and do not answer unless, unless dalawa na lang yung natitira mo sagot. Do not answer right away na, ay, okay, ito literary, tama ito. Okay, proceed na sa next. No, 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 no. Read all the options. Read all the options, okay? And then slowly, you eliminate. You question every option and then you eliminate. Tapos kapag dalawa na lang yung natitira, that's when you pick sino yung mananalo, okay? So, think, analyze, eliminate. That's it. Because, because, you know, not every one of us are. Uh, for example, I I am not a very studious person. Um, believe me or not, I've never had any, I'm not an honor student, okay? It may be conte, but in high school, in elementary, maybe, but not like a very high achiever. In college, I never had any Latin honors. No, nothing. So I was I was an average student. That's why you know I just have to figure it out on my own that time. Kung ano bang gagawin ko, you know, not all of us kasi can memorize every item. 
kahit na of course familiar yung mga items or napag-aralan natin or namita natin during when we were reviewing, it's not that we will actually remember the actual thing. You know, I'm one of those examinees na, I mean, I'm one of those reviewers before na, yeah, okay, it's familiar, but hindi ako sure, right? So if that's the case, it's important na alam natin yung skill, kung paano siya sagutan, okay? It's not just, you know, the, the content itself, it's also your skill, kung alam mo ba paano sumagot sa board, okay? It's just like going to a contest. Bago ka sa salang, magpa-practice ka muna. <laughs> so it's, I think, the same for the board exam. Okay? Next one. Underline keywords. I think ito yung pinaka ginagawa nating lahat. Right? Like, be careful sa keywords. Ano yung mga malalaking words, mga mabibigat na words dun sa question. And be careful with adverbs. You know, sometimes, always, be careful of words such as which does not belong to the group, which is least, which is most. So again, basahin mo yung tanong, okay? And uh, pay attention to the words there kasi one word can change the entire meaning. Baka iba sa understanding mo, okay? So underline keywords and then you analyze. Next, let's continue. Um, do not be opinionated. Uh, this is one thing that, well, of course, my family knows me well. My friends know me well. And um, they know that I am a very opinionated person. So, bago ako mag-take ng board exam, it's what everyone told me na, please, don't decide on your own kung ano yung sagot. Ibigay mo yung hinahanap nila. Ibigay mo yung standard nila, yung criteria nila. Show to them that you are qualified to become a licensed teacher, okay? Don't decide on your own, from your heart, on an emotional basis. So marami kasing options doon na sugar-coated. And minsan, madadala tayo at yun yung pipiliin natin. And most of the time, it's incorrect. So give them what they're looking for. Give them what they're looking for, okay? It's not subjective, hindi an essay. It's objective. They have an answer na hinahanap nila. They have a standard na hinahanap nila. And give them exactly kung anong hinahanap nila. Not what you think is right. Give them what they think is right, okay? So do not be opinionated when you're answering. And, of course, yung pinaka... <laughs> Useful sa lahat. Make sure you understand the question before you answer. And you'll be like, Ma'am, bakit mong pa include Alam na namin ito. I know. But sometimes kasi, we take for granted the other items. It's either inaantok tayo or pagod tayo or, you know, bahala na. Bahala na. Yun na yun. Ah, siguro ito yun kasi magandang pakinggan. Ah, siguro ito yun kasi mahaba. Ah, siguro ito yun kasi mahihirap yung mga vocabularies. No. Don't answer that way. Remember, you cannot live the same day over ever again. It's just one day. It's just one chance. Malayo na, rung, na yung narating mo. Marami na yung nag-give up mo. Marami na yung in-invest mo time, effort, and of course, money. So, take the chance, okay? And that's why bago mo sagutan every item, make sure you understand them well, okay? Now, let me run through from the very beginning. To summarize all the tips and techniques. All right, so practice shading. Do not choose letter E. Answer the easy ones to save time. Come back for the moderate. Come back for the difficult ones. Next, anything that is nakakalito or anything, any option that does not make sense, it's not the correct answer. Remove that one. You question all the options in order for you to, you know, learn how to eliminate. And wag sumagot kapag apat pa yung options mo. Make sure na eliminate ka na ng dalawang distractor, okay? Don't answer unless you have last two options remaining. Make sure that in every item you think you analyze. And then that's when you can eliminate. And of course, underline keywords, yung mga mabibigat na terms, yung mga adverbs, mga very, mga so, mga always, sometimes, not, least, never, most. Be careful. Do not be opinionated. Wag 
pala decision, okay? Ibigay ko anong hinahanap nila. Next, of course, this is your one chance. So, make sure that in every item, alam mo kung anong hinahanap nila. Kahit mahirap, do your best. Kasi nandyan ka na. And of course, yung talagang makakapanalo sa'yo is your presence of mind and your ability to control your body and your emotions. Mapagod ka after, umiyak ka after, wag during the exam. That is your one chance, I'm telling you. You cannot afford to take it one more time. So, do your best at the moment. Now, remember that one item can either pass you, fail you, or help you become a top-notcher. That's why you have to choose carefully. Okay? Kahit na incorrect itong <laughs> paggamit ko ng adverb, but you have to choose very carefully. I hope you have a takeaway from that. I am so excited for you, and you should be excited for yourself too. That's something to look forward. Thank you so much.